Okay, it's March and I've got some good deals for you. How good? When you see these, you're gonna be hungry. So get ready. We're about to start checking out the top 15 deals that are absolutely delicious. Let's get started. All right, guys, since I have no life and I love caffeine, unfortunately, oh man, somebody help me. Check it out. Monster Energy Ultra Fiesta Mango Flavor. Zero sugar, of course, these are nutrition facts. 10 calories, boom, bam, 0% juice for show. Uh, caffeine, it's probably got a lot. Uh, somewhere in here it says it. But if you're drinking this, you don't really care. You're just drinking it because you're a kind of uh, caffeine addict like me. So anyway, how does it taste? You know, it's funny because it says Ultra Fiesta Mango. And at first I'm like, okay, mango. But when you drink it, it's got like a punch, a kick, um, a, a slap on the face, kind of a mango flavor. It's kind of, it's not spicy, but it's got some kind of a kick to it, which is unusual. So um, definitely give it a try. Um, I don't know if you're gonna like it or not, but it is a different type of mango. And if you like mango, you gotta try this out. Uh, if you like Monster, you definitely gotta try this out. And it's only 10 calories, so give this a shot. Exotic freeze dried fruit. What is it? It's longan. Longan, I don't know how to even pronounce it, but it looks delicious. It's pretty nutritious. Calories are 42, which isn't bad at all. Here's the whole entire description. Let's grub on it. Let's see how it is. This is what it looks like. It's a good, healthy snack. Not too bad, but how does it taste? All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Sweet, soft, soft, melty. It's not bad. It has a... It has a fruity taste to it, fragrance kind of thing. Pretty yummy. Melts really good. It is so soft. No tartness, and it just has a nice sweet fruity taste to it. I can't put a put a word on or what it tastes like, but it's good. All right, you're trying to bulk up, trying to be like sea bum and getting all those energy, protein, and whatever else. Well, I can't help it because I ain't a doctor, but I am one thing. I'm bald as a baby's bottom. But here, check it out. Uh, I got something for you. This is the Fundaminos uh, Power of Vegan. Uh, vegan, that's pretty cool. Um, it's got all these nutrients. I'm gonna show you in the back right now. 30 servings in this uh, right here. This is a fruit punch flavor. Comes to the scooper, you know, uh, it tells you to do it within about four to eight ounces of water. I like doing this in about 10 ounces. Pretty yummy. So let's pour it. Let's see how it is. Go, here's a scooper. Comes with it, pour it in. Seal it up, mix it up. After it's mixed up, this is what you get. Like I said, the amino energies is good for you. You know, it's got all the benefits listed over here, all the all the nutrients it has. It's it's always something good to try. So if you're looking for a new amino, I want to try something different, something with a fruit punch flavor. Check this guy out. It's pretty delicious. Another Monster Energy drink brought to you by the one and only the caffeine drinker. Here it is, the Monster Energy Ultra Strawberry Dreams. Sugar free, of course, because uh, we don't want none of that sugar. It's 10 calories. Here's the nutrition, nutrition stuff. It's about, what, 200 cal uh, milligrams of caffeine. Cool thing about it, it tastes like strawberry, but not artificial strawberry. It has a good uh, strawberry taste to it. I don't know why it's called Ultra Strawberry Dreams, because uh, at first I thought it would be like a strawberry and cream or something like that, but it's just a, it's a, it's a nice tasting strawberry drink it doesn't taste bad at all no after taste um no jittery or anything like that of course just like any other monster drink but i do like that it is only 10 calories so you don't feel bad that you're just taking in tons and tons of calories uh and here's all the other stuff that it has uh as listed if you're a fan of monster monster energy drink or caffeine in general give this guy a shot it is delicious are you hungry but you are watching those calories look at this Skinny popcorn pop. Um, it is non-GMO, gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, but the best thing ever. The best part about this whole thing is it's only 39 calories per cup. And here's an example. This is one cup. This whole thing is only 39 calories. That is nuts. This is like the perfect snack. It is gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, peanut-free, tree-free preservative free, cow free. You can, every kind of free you can think of, this thing is, which is insane. Three and, a, three, and three quarter cup is only 150 calories. That's a lot of cups right there. And it's only 150 calories. So if you're hungry for some snacking, 
from healthy snacking. Skinny Pop is the way to go. We love it. Delicious popcorn, absolutely yummy. Are you hungry? If you are, which let's face it, we all are hungry all the time. Check out the Skinny Popcorn Cheddar Jalapeno. So freaking good. Only 47 calories per cup. Here is a cup of it. This much is only 47 calories. That's insane. It's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, no artificial flavors. And look at the back. It's gluten-free, peanut-free, chicken-free, cow-free, preservative-free, tree-free. I mean, you can, every kind of free you can think of, it is free, it's ridiculous. Three cups is only 140 calories. I mean, that is insane. That This thing tastes so good. The jalapeno is just the right amount. It's not overloaded. It has a very little slight hint of it. The more you eat, the more you taste it, the more yummy it gets and you get addicted. And then unfortunately, you're gonna eat more than like 10 cups of it, but it's good, so get it. I never wanted to taste what green tastes like. Here it is, Monster Energy Ultra Paradise. Now, I don't know how to describe it, but basically it's like, well, I guess I am describing it. It's like um, cucumber, lime, kiwi, all mixed up into one. Wifey says that this has a taste of um, rainbow nerds, so that could be it too. I've never had rainbow nerds, so I have no idea what that tastes like, but it does have a lime, uh, cucumber -ish taste to it. I don't taste the kiwi, but that's what it is. Is it bad? No. Is it um, unique? Yes. So if you've never tried this, give it a shot. And of course, it's a monster drink, so you know what that's all about. 10 calories because it's sugar-free. Uh, it's got the caffeine that we all know and love and uh, can't live without. So there's that. And uh, bam, if you are in need of some caffeine, here it is. Try out the new flavor. Tell, uh, tell me what you think. All right, it's winter time, so it's cold, it's freezing, you're cold and lazy. What do you do when you're lazy and cold? I know what I do. I make myself some nice tea. One of the, my favorites is lemon ginger tea. Now, this is caffeine free because I just, too much caffeine is never good, so I gotta, you know, take a break. Um, this tastes really, really good. Stash makes some really good teas. So each bag comes like this, and in the bag, it tells you the ingredients and then it tells you how to make it. Basically you need this much water for one bag and you need to make it this much. What I do is I use the coffee maker to just pour the tea or the water out, which is 192 degrees usually. Three to five minutes, boom, bam, done. Here it is, I've got four tea bags because I am a tea addict. Actually what I did was I equated eight ounces times four, four tea bags, you get the math, you get the skills. Basically hot water seeping in here for five minutes. Now that it's seep, it's all good. Start sipping the tea in the cold, cold winter months. Boom. All right, are you a fan of lychee coconut jelly and you just can't seem to stop eating it? And then you realize, hey, wait a minute, I got a 14 ouncer and I should have gotten a big old tub. Well, I got the solution for you. First of all, if you never had lychee coconut jelly, you need to try this. By itself, it's really yummy, right? And what we're doing right now is we're mixing it up with green tea, so it becomes green tea, tea with lychee jelly. It makes, it's such a good taste. Um, and it has a nice rose type floral um, smell to it, which is really good. And no, it doesn't taste like uh, roses, but it has a nice floral uh, smell to it. It has a nice chewy texture as well. I mean, if you guys have never had lychee, like, you gotta try it just once. You might like it, you might not like it, but if you don't try it, you don't know, right? So anyway, the point is that lychee, Coconut jelly is delicious. Give it a shot if you have not. But the best thing is add it to any kind of drink you drink and it'll make it a million times better. Hey guys, have you tried this skinny popcorn kettle corn? The limited time flavor of hot cocoa. This is new, I've never tried it. It's 56 calories per cup, which is literally nothing. I mean, a cup of popcorn is seriously a lot. If you get a two and a half cups, it's only 140 calories. It's super yummy. And the best thing about it is it tastes like hot cocoa. It has a very light, very light flavor. You can see it's very lightly coated. I'm gonna put one in my mouth because it's so yummy. Mm. It is, has a nice sweetness to it. Not overly sweet. It really is, uh, I keep eating because it's not good. It really is good. No GMO, gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, which is really good. If you have not tried this, give this a try. Skinny popcorn is one of those things that if you are calorie counting, 
if you just want something to snack on but don't want to go really heavy this is the perfect way to go so here it is okay, what does strawberry grapefruit and guava taste like i have no clue no idea at all so i'm gonna go by what they say right here monster ultra rose why is it called rose when the flavor profile is supposed to be the other three? Again, no clue. Why am I asking these questions? I don't know either. But what I do know is caffeine is a good thing for me. So uh, if you are addicted to monster and caffeine like I am, man, we got some problems. But check it out. Check out the Monster Ultra Rose. It's got a very, very light flavor. You can barely taste uh, any of the three flavors, to be honest. But that's a good thing because I don't want overpowering flavor. Just give me my caffeine, make me happy, and call it a day. So what do I do? I drink the Ultra Rose Energy Drink. You know how it is, zero sugar. So it's only got 10 calories right here. I just opened this guy up, put a sip in it, and it was so good. I have to make a video about it. So if you are in the market for one of these, in the market, what am I saying? Just go get this and try it. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking good. Guys, okay, so today is another delicious C4 flavor uh, and today's flavor is frozen bombsicle so this one is basically i know it sounds bombsicle frozen but the blue should give it away it basically is a sweet blueberry taste not overwhelming blueberry on this guy is really really subtle but not to the point of you don't even taste it i'm um, I, I dig it but again i like blueberry taste so that's why i'm kind of a fan of it um but c4 flavors typically are pretty good uh the only one for me that's not to the level of the uh, A plus would be the uh, Skittles one. However, every other one has been A plus for me. Here's all the nutrition facts, only 200 milligrams of caffeine. Here's the calories and all the other good stuff that you need to know. Just know that this tastes really good. It's got a sweet taste to it, a little very subtle blueberry taste. And if you like C4, you know, you're gonna love this. If you like um, fruity flavors, candy type flavors, you're gonna like this as well. Uh, check this down. Just you know helps a lot uh don't go over ham boom that's it all right you want to eat bad but have a healthy conscious can't help you but check it out here is russell stover sugar-free coconut candy chocolate now this guy is pretty good because of course the key thing is it's sugar-free um tested this out now i got the smaller one uh, which is um six pieces that you get it's uh, 300 calories for the six pieces or 300 something calories. This is not bad. Of course, sugar free because it's made with stevia, stevia, however you call it. Um, very, very low calories. Tastes exactly like the one with sugar. So you're saving a significant amount of calories and sugar. And you can kind of feel good because technically it's not as bad. I mean, te well, technically it is bad, but you know what I mean. If you have a sugar craving you want, and you love coconut, um, get this guy. It has little bits of coconut chunks in there, so it does add that delicious coconut taste to it. It's really good. Try it out. Here's a water hack that you can do to give you electrolytes, vitamins, and minerals without doing a dang thing. Boom. Here it is. This is what you do. Zero calories, zero sugar. It's calorie free, caffeine free, cholesterol free, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, cat free, dog free, tree free, leaf, you name it, all kinds of free. How's it work? I'll show you. All you do is open it up, take a scoop, boom, put it in 16 ounces of water, mix it up. And now, how does it taste? Taste, tastes pretty good. It's basically drinking water with a lot of electrolytes that you lose when you do cardio, workout. Hell, just every day in general, if you need electrolytes, this is the way to go. Zero calories, you can't beat that. Pretty dang good too. Ooh, I like it. All right, so you love lemon cake, but when you look at the slice, you just wanna basically cry because of all the carbs and calories and fat it has. Well, check it out. Here is the Quest Lemon Cake cake it is 20 grams of protein four grams of net carbs one gram of sugar per bar here is the nutrition facts right here 108 calories um pretty good i mean quest makes really good tasting uh protein bars here's what it looks like let me take a bite and just let you i mean look at this it looks freaking good uh mm, no that is a lemon bar Wow, that tastes great. And this is so messed up that I should not be talking while eating, but it is that good. So if you need a protein bar and you got the craving for lemon cake, this is, this tastes exactly like a lemon cake, except it's healthier and you don't have to feel bad. 
and it's delicious if you like the video click that like button below please subscribe if you have not and don't forget you can now join youtube and become an official member your support helps the channel grow and i cannot thank you enough until next time stay amazing and i'll see you in the next one take care